Imagine one day you log in to your RuneScape account, like you normally would. But upon hitting that login button, you realize that something has gone incredibly wrong. Your coin pouch has been emptied and your entire bank is gone. What would you do? If it were me? Well, the first thing that I would want to do is I would want to rebuild. I'd want to see how long it would take to get back to where I was before, or as close to that as possible. So in this video, that's exactly what I did. I cleared out my entire 37 billion coin bank on my main account, and we're starting over from absolutely nothing. I put one week on the clock, and I want to see how far we can get. I've got my account, I've got my stats, and I've got my game knowledge. But when it comes to GP, I have absolutely nothing. So, without further ado, let's rebuild. This is something that RuneShark did once back in the day. It was like, how far could you get in one hour starting from nothing? Now, I don't want to give myself an hour because I would probably do dailies for that whole hour and that'd be really boring. I want to give myself a week because I'm curious. There's been a lot of inflation. There's been a lot of drops of power creep. The idea is to figure out how far I can get in, uh, in a one week rebuild. With that said, this is my bank. <laughs> in three, in two, in one, and let's go. Uh, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do my daily flask run by clicking on the wrong lodestone. I'm gonna pop the resource for Aurea as well. Uh, I can't remember what it looked. Dude, I haven't done this in so, do I even have it? I do, cool. So yeah, first thing we're gonna do is a flask run. And then I'm hoping that gives me enough starting cash that I can buy a magical butterfly net. And then I think I wanna start by doing Croesus because the commons are really, really good. I think in an hour of Croesus, I should have enough GP to start getting a PBM set up. After that, I think the plan is to go to Zami. That is the idea. But we're doing, I have zero potions. I have zero supplies. I have zero gear. I have zero gold. So uh, yeah, welcome. Welcome to the rebuild. Wait, what's the GP on an inventory of these actually? Hold up. Because I wonder if inflation has really scaled these up too. They're 13k each? Dude, this is going to be the cleanest rebuild of all time. This is absolutely beautiful. 400k per inv- I'm going to have a million coins by minute 10. I wonder if crystal flasks have enough value to be worth doing. Because I'm going to have like probably 700k right off rip. Honestly, for 2.5k each? I don't think that's worth the time. It's definitely not. I know that's weird to say when I have absolutely nothing, but yeah, I don't think that's worth the time. Do these actually sell though? DXP just ended. They do. Okay, we have 730K to our name. That is not bad. Now you have to remember everything is also really expensive. So that doesn't get you quite as far as it used to back in my day. But now what do we want to do with that 730K? I think the first thing I want to do is I want to go to some magic shops and look at some runes that might be profit. And then after that, we could do Vizwax as well and sell that for even more profit. From that point, I think Magical Butterfly Net, Krosis, makes the most sense. Wait, 100 GB for a fire rune. Air runes are 26, waters are 200. Bloods are 1.6K, souls are 3K each. Okay, beautiful. That is good to know. So I'm gonna buy, yeah, all the elementals, body runes, nature runes. Perfect. All right, on to the next magic shop. I feel like such an Iron Man right now. Okay, we said no to chaos runes, no to law runes, yes to bloods, yes to souls, yes to astrals. That's all the money I have. So I gotta go to the GE. What? Wait, dude, this is so easy. Okay, that's all I wanted. I wanted, before the 10 minute mark, I wanted a million coins. <laughs> and now we've got it. All right, let's go get our wicked hood and then do the other root drops. Fire, mind, water. Okay, that's better. Uh... 67 is not great. 53? I think the runes today are just not good. That's okay. We'll get the 67. Yeah, 67 is not great, but it is definitely profit. Let's go to the GE and sell everything. I actually wonder how much I, pr I profit on. Look how much money I have! Wait, what? We are 14 minutes in, and I have just under 5 million coins. <laughs> this is actually too easy. Okay, so... For Croesus, I need a magic butterfly net. Magic butterfly net. Um, I also need some super restores. And I need some beaver familiars. Two earth impling jars. One essence impling jar. Three gourmet impling jars. I'm okay spending money on this though, because sometimes I gotta spend money to make money. There we go. It's not bad. Okay. Uh, so now we need to go to Zanaris. 
I also want to buy a Hunter Cape as well, which I can buy from up here. I don't know if Hunter Cape is even necessarily worth it. Uh, if you regular capes. Uh, the question is, do I want the 120 cape or the 99 cape? Uh, what does the 120 cape do? <laughs> I'm gonna buy the 120 cape just because it looks better. <laughs> I'm gonna spend the extra 20k. That is probably not a great financial decision, but come on. That just... That was worth it. Easily worth it. Alright, let's go to Zanaris. You gotta look good to feel good, and you gotta feel good to make money. Oh, here. Perfect. Look at this interface. <laughs> There we go. Confirm. Do I not have the trapper outfit? Uh, I can reclaim it. Does it help? Trapper outfit it is. Do look at this thing. <laughs> I had no idea it looked like that. That's really funny. All right. I think I'm ready for Krosis. 25 minutes in, we've got three and a half million coins and we've got a pretty decent-ish Krosis setup. Can I reclaim Pontifex Ring? Uh, oh wait, maybe I can. Wait, let me check. The hacker dropped all my untradeable rings and things. Like, bro, you don't get any money from a Sears headband. I don't know why they did that, but they did. So uh, here we are. Uh, reclaim ring. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, why he's c -tell. What? What? Why his c -tell? I'm sorry. <laughs> I cannot believe that they just listed every possible activity in the game with a scroll wheel instead of just letting you type the name of the preset that you want. I still think that's really funny. Uh, this has to be free for all because there's an Iron Man on the team. I didn't check that people were irons or not. Technically, it would be smarter to do splits. Um, like, technically, that makes more sense. But we're going to do keeps because there's an iron on the team. Is it BD first or surge first? We're gaming. <laughs> okay, everything's fine. Okay, and then I have to rot the fish. Beautiful. Okay, we're good. Build this bad boy. We're chilling now. Cool. Um, okay, let's sort out our keybinds. Yeah, I didn't realize you had to like keybind the cape, but we can we can certainly handle that. There we go. Cool. Yeah, I do need to dodge everything though because I don't have enough money for more slurries. I really don't. Yeah, everybody's good. Beautiful. All right, great. I feel like that's the luckiest thing that's happened so far. We filled a Krosis team out of Twitch Shatters and everybody's sick, which is further proof that every member of the RS guys greater community is just a god gamer. A, a personal would be great, but even like a big book page, I think would be really nice. Like a big book page is like, what? It's like four or five mil. I don't know exactly what I need for Zami, but I think what we'll do is we'll we'll see what Krosis gives us and then we'll, uh, we'll work with that, you know? First Krosis kill almost locked in. What do you got, Free Blast? Do we do we have the luckiest rebuild ever? In three, in two, in one. I got a page. We're actually rich. This is so sick. So we probably just made like from that one kill, probably like seven mil. Yeah. So if you're wondering why I'm collecting from the suboptimal node, by the way, the reasoning for it is if I clear that node, this node right away, I won't get as many points. I'm actually having so much fun. I will say, I have so much more fun playing this game without a lot. And I think it's it's really, really fun to do as much as you can with a very limited uh, limited setup, especially with Elder God Wars. It's been so long since we've done something like this that uh, like the routing and the pathing is so different. Like there are also a ton of really, really good cheap weapons. Like Alanica's Spear is tier 90 damage and it costs 20 mil? All right, second Krosis kill in the books. Unlucky. <laughs> I found out last night that you can't put blight bounds in a keepsake box unless you barrows die them. So I had to buy barrows dies to barrows die my blights that I don't even use, by the way. Croesus the third. What do you got for me, bro? 414. I got another page, and Captain Bonk actually got a full torch. If it could happen to Bonk, it could happen to us. Getting our starting cash is great, but what's gonna make or break this challenge is what we actually do with the money. How are we gonna invest this money into making more money? What do you got for boss? Another one? Wait, what? Okay, so we've now made uh, 13 mil just from pages. We've had three pages and five kills. This is too clean. Also, we've now just crossed the one hour mark. Uh, one hour in, I am guessing my net worth is around 20 million coins in the first hour, which is honestly not bad at all. Surely I don't get a fourth page. Okay, yeah, that's that's okay. 
Yeah, I think if I could get up to like, I think like an absolute win would be a Fractured Staff. If I could get a Fasoa within a week, that's like, that's like the best case scenario kind of dub. What's the first combat style I'm gonna buy gear for? Um, I'm looking at a Bone Blowpipe actually, cause it doesn't require ammo. It's tier like 89 and they're like four mil apparently. The other thing too, uh, I need a Zuck Cape. Especially if I'm doing Zami, I will need a Zuck Cape which means I'm going to have to do a kiln, get a kiln cape, and then get an igneous stone from Zuck. And I'm going to want to do that with the cheapest, lowest tier gear I can find. Blowpipes just got merged from 3 mil to 12 mil because you talked about it. <laughs> they didn't. I hate it here. All right, you know what? That's it. I'm not giving you guys the plan. Merchers are vultures. Y'all are the worst. <laughs> Last kill the hour. Then we have to decide if we want to do another hour. I think we probably do unless I get a drop from this skill. Because I think one more hour, I'll have enough to go for a Zuck Cape, possibly. I believe this was a 10 kill hour, which is pretty solid, actually. And we are coming out uh, without a unique. Yeah, let's go to the chest, see how much money we've made. We're now 92 minutes into the challenge. 92 minutes ago, I had absolutely zero GP to my name. I was penniless. And now, I got 5 mil in my coin pouch, plus 21 mil! That's actually really, really solid. And the troves as well. I do think we have to do another hour though. This is not going to be enough money to get a Zuck Cape. I don't think I can do a Zuck Cape on 21 mil. But on 40 mil, I think I could do no problem at all. So I would love to do another Christmas hour. <sighs> okay, let me think. So for Zuck, Elder Wand, Virtus, Book. I'm buying it. Perfect. 3.5 mil. We now have a tier 87 range weapon. Here is why. In order to get a Zuck Cape, we also need to do a kiln. Fight kiln the combat triangle is really, really important. So we're actually going to hybrid. Beautiful. That is our first piece of gear purchased. Do we want to do the Infernal Star in nine minutes? I think I could do it. I think I could do it. Royal Dragonhide set. 27k does not break the budget. There you go. Sets. Exchange. I'm just gonna equip this because I, I don't think the repair cost amount's that bad. What do we do for food? Are sea turtles still really cheap? Yes, sir. They sure are. I mean, buy a hundred of your finest sea turtles. <laughs> I'm just, I'm worried I'm not gonna be able to do enough damage, but I think I can. I think it'll be okay. Four, 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 and four. I think I should buy the herbal keep too. Uh, let's make some overloads. Oh yeah, it's a batch, of course. I was like, wait, why is it only making one? And overloads have been unlocked. We can probably do Zuck with holies as well if we need to. I'm going to make all seven. These are the most economical overloads in the game. Eventually, we're going to need elders for sure, but... Okay, so now we need to load preset three. I guess let's go to the building. <laughs> do I have time to buy an ASR? Let's see if I can... Let's see if I can do it. Yeah, half a mil is kind of a lot, and I don't know how long I'm going to use it for, but uh, can I get another ring? Yes, pay half a mil. Done. Uh, the Wildy event starts in one minute, so let's go, let's go, let's go. Who the Wildy? But yeah, the goal for day one is I definitely want to get a Zuck Cape. I think that'll be the, the best thing we could do in day one, would be a Zuck Cape. Because once I've got a Zuck Cape, I think I can comfortably do, uh, I can comfortably do Zamorak. I think my setup's actually just decent. 33k done, big tendrils, 44k, 55k, yeah, we're good. Sweet! Setup was just good enough. 69k, and that is the amount of damage needed. So we're now good. We're going to get a sack of very wild rewards here before the next Christmas hour. I have done 200,000 damage. In two, I got 100k DPM right now. Okay, beautiful. That is a uh, wilderness event completed. All right, let's see what we got here. Let's see if that was worth all of that panicking and that setup. Uh, so the small sacks we got, ashes that are worthless, wyvern bones that are actually worth a little bit, but nothing, nothing fantastic there. But we've also got the sack of very wild rewards. What do you got for your boss? Three salvage. Okay, that's not terrible actually. I think all in all, we recouped about a million coins. Uh, maybe a little over actually. And I will also definitely be using this Lucky Charm at Zami too. I would I would call that decent. All right, Krosis the second. And yeah, this could very well be the last Krosis hour we need to do actually, which is kind of cool. First kill of the second Krosis hour and the second hour of the 
challenge as well. We just crossed over the two hour mark. What do you got for you, boss? Is safe. A Trisk piece. It's very exciting. The objective is I need like 60 or 70 mil would be ideal for a hard mode Zuck setup. Or sorry, I, wait, I don't even need to do hard mode Zuck. I need to do normal mode Zuck. For normal mode Zuck, I think we're actually, yeah, we're, we're fine. Any Crypt Bloomers? Uh, nope. That's okay. Alrighty, third kill of our two at Croesus. What have you got in store for us? I'm feeling I'm feeling good about this hour too. I'm not sure why. I just I feel like good things are gonna happen. Ooh, an effigy and a manuscript. This is very cool. Alright, fourth kill the hour. What do you got for us? Mr. Croesus. I'm just looking in the Indian chat. Oh my goodness! Mojo with the helm pull! That's like 400 mil. I do not get a split of that, but I do get to be happy for my team. I also feel like a lot of the best money makers, it's not about being a good PVMer or not. It's about being willing to do something that isn't AFK. Runecrafting, insanely good money. Clue scrolls, when you factor in supply costs, generally considered better GP than PVMing in a lot of instances. People that say I can't make GP because I'm not good at PVMing, what you're actually saying is you can't make GP because, I mean, there is a word for it. The word is possibly slightly lazy, perhaps. Water and crafting is literally 40 mil GP an hour. But also, you do need to take out 30% because that's how much you're going to have to pay for physical therapy with your carpal tunnel that you're going to get. Boon? Nope. Second Croesus hour is uh, about to be complete. Are we going to get lucky and get a drop here? Or are we going to just have to make do with what we have? Um. All right. Unfortunately, no uniques for me. But uh, let's grab our loot. This is the loot from both hours as well. 35 mil. Let's open up the troves first off. Um, we got more fragments, pretty cool. Yeah, th this should work. This should be enough, buddy. Croesus loot sold. We are sitting on 35 million coins. And we also have a tier 87 range weapon. So yeah, I need Ganodermic, a magic weapon, and a melee weapon. Ganodermic poncho, 2.5. Honestly, a steal. Oh, does not buy it? <laughs> Hmm, spoke too soon. Oh, do I want to buy a max cape? I think I do. Half a million coins. Done. Oh, it's so expensive. It's like three mil, but let's do it. Done. Okay, you know what? This is not time efficient, but <laughs> give me a minute. <laughs> Does this change your cape to the color of the boss? No. Okay, well, okay, what's Cursus look like? Okay, no, bit of a miss. What about Harakin? You know what? We'll go with the Harakin colored one. That's actually really cool. I didn't know that was a thing. That's sick. Okay, I have 24 mil. I need a melee weapon, all my supplies, a wand, and an orb. Yeah, we can't get a wand. Okay, uh, shoot. Virtus wand, that's our big purchase. We're we're splurging on the Virtus. We're going all out. All right, Ivan. Sun spear, the reformed spear. How much is it? 600K? Yeah, I'm good with that. Okay, so let's make a bunch of crystal saws and DA them. Faceted components. Okay, beautiful. Now we just need the RNG, please. Let's go. Beautiful. Okay. I think regular old biting two is is gonna be what we do here. Oh, we got biting three. Wait, I actually just spooned that. Unholy book of Zamorak. Take. I think we'll be okay with the setup we have. I also love the Dragon Rider amulet for this because plus ten prayer bonus is absolutely massive. Bam will be better for this because I'm not going to be taking that much damage. But yeah, one of the things I will have to do is I have to mage the bulk of this. If I'm not maging the bulk of this, it's not going to uh, it's not going to give me the mage cape. So especially early waves, I'm going to mage more than anything else. Dude, trying to do Zuck with this is going to be terrible. <laughs> I don't think it's going to take that long. I actually, I was kind of dreading this taking like two hours, but it's definitely not. I think it's going to take like 30 minutes, maybe 35. 49 defense? And 148 magic. This is this is how we uh, how we fix the kill time. All right, ten waves down. First ten waves took us seven minutes. Not bad. Uh, okay, so here I need to meta to redo my anime dead. 
if you're wondering why I'm using meta to use anime dead, uh, I'm doing that so that it doesn't cost any runes. That's my way to save 12 blood runes. But 12 blood runes, that's expensive. For the dills, you always want to use bleeds because every hit of a bleed counts as shield breaking. So instead of using like 10 regular abilities, you can just use one bleed. All right, wave 20 done. 1421. So the second set of 10 waves also took the same amount of time. There we go. And then a bit of this. Remember when this wave used to be like the bane of the bane of the run? I mean, even on my hardcore a couple months ago, it was legitimately tedious and semi-difficult. Oh yeah, this is the magic jad. Uh, so you're supposed to range this one. The jads all have an assigned combat style to them. See how I'm hitting double? I don't think that's on the wiki, but uh, you can notice if you're hitting half damage, it's because the jad you're fighting probably has a resistance. Uh, we actually haven't used any food. We barely use any supplies either. And it's Harakin time. I wish I'd saved a magic crystal though. Cause I think this is gonna be uh, several cycles for sure. And I'm facing this way cause the boss can't spawn north. No, I stunned. That was a misclick. Oh my goodness. That is such an L. Oh, okay. Harakin is gonna take 70 years and it's all my fault. Actually, if I rack and rune and stuff, it might be too cyclable still. Uh, 87k, so I need to do 30k more than last time. I think it's going to be close. This is, this is not going to die in time, I don't think, but we'll see. Maybe I can just juice it really hard. G-Conk, Wild Magic, Rack and Root. <laughs> well, that's completely my fault. Remember when they buffed this? It's probably like five or six years ago now. They updated it to make it way harder. They like doubled the HP and the damage of all the mobs because people were AFKing two kilns an hour and they were like, that's a huge issue. Basically what I'm saying is remember when they didn't want you to AFK combat related content? Harakin, thank you for the oh, absolutely lovely memories. All right, see you idiot. 29 minutes and seven seconds. That's not bad for this setup that I've got. I feel actually pretty great about that. Thank you for the magic cape. Beautiful. So now, I guess, do I want to throw it on instead of Max Cape? Five prayer bonus is kind of nice, but nah, we'll, we'll use it. We just unlocked it. We went through the effort. So, uh, yeah. Okay, uh, Zuck next. I don't know why the hacker dropped my obsidian armor, but... They sure did. That is... 34 beautiful obsidian shards, which means it is smithing time. Let's go to Fort Print 3 and make a magic helmet. That is two beautiful batches of Elder Overloads. That'll be good enough for now. We're not gonna like make them into solves or anything. Invent management is gonna be a little weird, but I don't think it's worth it. I think we go for flawless, and if we don't get it, that's okay too, because we don't need a flawless to get a Zuck cape. All right, it's time. I, I think the biggest thing is gonna be going into Zuck with full supplies, and then I do think pizza time has the potential to be extremely difficult. Dude, Gano is so tanky. That is also something I'm I am observing here. Like, Ganon or McGarry must never die at all ever. There's 50k. And now I might still have enough juice for the challenge. Old-fashioned Omnipower! It hits an 8k! Let's go! <laughs> Done. Okay, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Alright, uh, it's Jad time. Jad spawns up there, so we're gonna stay down this way. Oh yeah. Come on. Dude, it's the augmented crystal orb. I, I almost said a tuned crystal orb, but it's not a tuned. But it is augmented. With the power of future tech. As I've always said, though, it's not about the gear you have. It's about the macros you use. I mean, it's about the... Um, so I definitely need a Volnom for this. Oh, it's only 20k in normal mode. Uh. Oh, boy. Wait, I may not have this. Ditto? Please! Oh, God. Uh, Drop something. G-Staff! G-Staff, please! We're fine. 
Everything's fine. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, I'm critting so much. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, so the reason why I wanted to natural instinct there is because when I get it to 450k, I want to make sure that I have enough adrenaline to Cade. Wait, can I shard? Unlucky. Mm -hmm. I love the Zuck music. It's so good. It appears you have exceeded my expectations. Chad will end this. Odds I get this? I think I can do it. I totally can't do it. That's just a regular Omni Power! Why did I do that? Wait, hold. 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 6K. 4K. There's no shot. Wait, we're actually cracked. Holy. One cycle, Harakin. Dude, nobody does it like me. That was disgusting. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, okay, cool. Zuck time. Okay, cool. <sighs> so, we want to go up here. Yeah, this is going to be the hard part, for sure. You know, because I have no damage. <laughs> and then we save Tsunami for this bit like this. Yeah. And then Rack and Ruin. Spell swap. Okay, Rack and Ruin save. Cool. We're good. Perfect. This kind of sucks. I don't have freedom. Okay, we're fine. I want it to be a no food kill. Okay, we're good. Okay. That is a no food Zuck kill. <laughs> In 20 minutes with <laughs> the greatest, most overpowered setup in existence. That was filthy. I think we did very well there. Let's check our loot here. Five mil. A reroll for Zami. That's actually the best part, probably. And then an igneous stone as well. We've got a thing we gotta do. Craft igneous stone. And in five hours on the dot, we have a Zuck keep again. <laughs> okay, let's go to Zami. I've got a ripper and everything. Let's go. Yeah, I think the next upgrades are I need an Elder One. I need a Virtus book. And then I need, um, I think a Jasp book would be really good. And then after that, it's like Amulet of Souls, I think is, is how I would do it. Overload, God book. I have a feeling we're going to be seeing a lot of Zami this week. Okay, ready? Igneous Omnipower. Bang. Throw a shard. So the strategy I'm doing, it might look weird to you guys. Just... Trust the process and trust that I am doing it this way for a reason. I'm hitting. Wait, chat, I'm really, really hitting. Look how close that was. Yeah, I, I think with a couple little rotation changes, I think I can start skipping. I think all I would need is Blast Fusion Boots because then I can Deto. I think a four tick Deto will actually let me skip every phase. We're skipping! Dude! I am so excited about that! How did we. I cannot believe it. One more pad and then P7. Next turn, I'm doing. Yeah, so basically, instead of instantly charging the pad, where the boss can start specking, I'm instead getting the grade speed to zero, so that when every phase starts, 
It's starting on the lowest HP possible. Which gives me less to do. Now, I will get specs on this phase, though, because the uh, the healer is making Dami take way less damage. All right, you guys ready? Wish me luck. Yeah, Bow Beast would help. I mean, that would get me, like, an EOF or two. Actual streamer setup. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Omni. Shatter. Rack and Ruin. Vip Plot. Out Magic. It's Fix. And that is a no food 100% Zami kill. Eight minutes. Yeah, eight minutes not bad, actually. Like, I think we can work with eight minutes. Like, if that's the starting point. But what's the loot look like from this? That's what I want to know. How good's the loot? If I do, like, four of these, I can buy an Elder Wand. So, I think what I want is I want Smoke Cloud and Blast Infusion Boots. I think those are the, the easiest upgrades I can get for kind of not a lot of effort. How bad is that going to be to bring Spellbook Swap and Disrupt? Let's look. Okay, bear with me for a second. Just, I, I know. I know, I know, I know. Just bear with me for a quick second. You have to remember, I'm not using food anyway. So, we kind of may as well. Bro, I got Aubrey's Rune Shop in my pocket. <laughs> okay, it's a bit, it's a bit, it's a bit much. I, look, I don't have a rune problem, I promise. It's not... It's not a problem. I can stop spellbook stopping anytime I would like. Okay, so we've made some changes to our preset. I would like to think that we've improved it. Although that is totally understandable if you disagree with me. Okay, this should be perfect. This should be a skip, I think. Let's go! I skipped the furnace. Okay, so this is the two worst runes that I could get. This is going to be a big bomb. That's okay. It's going to be nothing, though. And that is why we get Disruption Shields. Um, I may not be able to finish this. I got to eat. Got it. Come on. 5.2 mil. Crap, what's wrong with me? Why did I kill the wrong rune? Wait, why am I so stupid? I saw the star and I'm seeing stars. Ah, <laughs> oh, dude, death costs are such a problem too. That's 11k. Down the drain, in the garbage. I do think Zami is the best boss in the game. It is also, I mean, what I'm learning today anyway is the money you can make from this boss, even with like a really, really, really suboptimal setup, I don't think there's anything else in the game that compares. Like, talking about accessibility, 25 dungeon runs, terrible. They should get rid of that. But outside of the dungeon run rack, this is the most accessible source of crazy good GP. Uh, any wild magickers? Please? Nice. Good girl. Are we green? No, we are not. Are we gonna get four mil or five? Uh, 4.8 big ones. That's huge. Look at all the soul runes too, actually. Whew. He lives. All right, everything's fine. Holy. Should I try 200? We're gonna get a lot of special attacks, but let's go. And I'll use my reroll on it too. That's the plan. I think I missed not having a spirit shield as well. I think it's pretty noticeably more painful. What happens if you get bow? Um, well, that would definitely speed up the rebuild. So this is 33% better loot. So as long as this kill is 
under like 11 and a half minutes, uh, this would actually be optimal. This would be better than doing 100s for me. I'm dead here. Because you can't get to divert if the... Uh, or sorry, you can't get to a mort if the divert hits nothing. <laughs> um, should we call her and ask what happened? What what happened? Um, Zuck happened. Zuck happened? Okay, but what happened to Zuck is what the people want to know. You know the part where he drops something on your head that's like typeless damage? Yeah, the one that you like res or disrupt or reflect or debilitate. Disrupt. Arcade? You might disrupt this on cooldown. Would you call that a boss issue or a skill issue? I'm calling it that I'm bad at hard mode suck. I'll ask them to nerf it. ASAP. Next Monday's patch. Don't even worry. Well, good luck actually killing the boss. Thank you. <laughs> so I think 200% is a little too hard. I think it's a hit chance thing where if we had a Cyber Wand, we'd have a much easier time. I know I don't have enough money for an Elder Wand yet. I think I will if I do one more kill at 100. Oh, <gasps> no way. <laughs> it's got executed by a regular auto attack. <laughs> oh, man. It's not great, is it? Also, 7-Eleven is the fastest kill of the day so far. And let's see what the loot is. Uh, 5.7. Wait, that's crazy good. All right, let's go again. 2.9, that is such a reroll. All right. Let's see if Zuck was, uh, was kind to us in three, in two, in one. Aura's up. Why don't we sell our loot and see how much money we have. See how close we are to some actual good upgrades. All right, time to find out if we can, uh, buy ourselves something nice here. I don't know about you guys. Has anyone else had difficulty buying and selling stuff? Because I just definitely have. I think we have to YOLO it. Oh, just kidding. It bought. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. Wait. I don't have enough GP to fix the broken Virtus 1. I can sell soul runes. Okay, I'm going to sell the soul runes to repair. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we're fine. <laughs> it's like, wait a second. This isn't going to work. Because what I was thinking in my head is I'm going to have to not be able to afford to augment this if I can't sell that. We're fine. Augmentation Dissolver. Dude, I love that this shows exactly what it does. Oh, there we go. We're just one broken. Correct. How much does this cost to fix? One mil. Okay, we should be good. Yeah, we can... One mil is like 300 soul rates. That's funny. There we go. There we go. Beautiful. Use Whetstone on the Virtus Wand. One million coins spent. Wait, this thing's worth 10 mil? I forgot how much we spent on this. That's actually unreal. We got 11 mil for that. So now we need a Virtus book, which I'm assuming is like 11 mil. Yeah, okay. So Virtus book's 11 mil. So why don't we do another Zami kill and get a Virtus book? 6.2 mil. So we could take this and already buy a Virtus book, but things probably won't sell for that. So we're gonna, we're gonna run it back. Uh, 3.7 mil, not bad. So if you're on a single target, if your DPM is under 180k, when book will be better. Because Jazz book is based on how much damage you're dealing. So if you're not doing much damage, the when book will be better. But for most people, if you're putting in a small to moderate amount of effort, 180k DPM is very manageable, even like on a Revo bar. So for most people, the Jazz book is better. All right, what do you got, Free Blast? 3.9 is a little on the low roll. I think we should have enough for some upgrades. All right, let's collect. 14 mil. Rock tiles are worth a lot. Are they really? I've got 33 of them. No. <laughs> They're like worthless. This is the correct upgrade for sure. If it bought, it would be the correct upgrade is what I meant to say. Yeah, this is going to give me 10 tiers of offhand damage, which is an absolute ton if it would buy. So first off, let's equipment all of the orb because I don't need the crystal orb anymore. It is going to be a Virtus book, but I do want to keep the equilibrium for. That's going to be like an end game perk. And I am so getting merched. It is the worst. That is okay though. Whatever price we have to pay, we'll pay it. What is going on? I think I'm being merched. I could leave it and I guarantee you that would buy in a short amount of time. You know what? I'm going to pop the resource for us. And I'm going to do my daily flasks because there's no way that doesn't buy. 
That is a beautiful Virtus book. We've got Equilibrium 4. Augment you. Perk you up. We've got Blast of Fusion Boots, Care Pack Wrist Wraps, a Cyber Wand, a Virtus Book, Full Ganodermic, and a freaking Zuck Cape. We are now eight hours into the challenge, and I think I'm going to call day one there. I think we've made a lot of good progress, but we're going to have to pick things up tomorrow. By the end of tomorrow, I want to have a Jazz Book, I want to have good perks, and I want to be able to solo hard mode Care Pack. That's the plan. Good morning, gamers. How are you, everybody? Welcome, welcome, welcome back to the rebuilding challenge. We are resuming eight hours and three minutes in uh, with the beginning of day two. I don't know exactly what the plan is for today. I'm going to be honest. I, I have a couple ideas. Some of them are probably smarter than others. The first idea is obviously we're going to do Zami. But then after Zami, I don't know if I want to try to get a setup for hard mode Karapak or if I want to get a setup for hard mode Zuck. What I was thinking is I think hard mode Zuck will be easier. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to... No, I'm not going to sell the Vizwax. I'm going to use the Vizwax. Because the first thing I want to do today is I want to do a Zami Hour. Because we have a couple upgrades I want to get before we try hard mode Zuck. But the goal for today is to be able to complete hard mode Zuck. Uh, which, to be fair, I think I could probably do with the setup I have right now. But it wouldn't be smooth. It wouldn't, it wouldn't be good. So let's buy a couple of Ripper Demons. And let's buy a bunch of scrolls. And let's get to Zami. I need a rune pouch. Imagine rolling up to hard mode Zuck and this is my invent. It's so bad. I actually, like, I don't know if I love it or if I hate it. And the worst part is every single kill, I'm using every single one of these runes. Like this isn't, this isn't remotely unnecessary in any capacity. The upgrades I want to make before we go to Zuck, I would like to get a Jazz book and then maybe an Amulet of Souls, maybe Cinderbane gloves, depending on how things go. Other than that, we're ready to, we're ready to go. Oh no, I got the worst ones. Oh, this is going to be bad. See, idiot. All right. Not a great first skill, but a kill is a kill and money is money. So, uh, yeah, let's take it. Not a bad start. I do see a distinct lack of green glow around my character, though, which is a little unfortunate. But, I mean, look at it, man. Look at all that money. Get in the bank. No! No! I should've just wild magic. I, I literally could've just killed it. <laughs> I'm so stupid. <laughs> my death cost is 16k, all right? It's fine. Two. Oh. Help! Wait, I threw! I did everything wrong! Uh, Rack and Ruin! And then wild magic, please. No, 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 please. No way. There's no way. I'm actually the worst. I did so many perfect kills in a row yesterday. What is happening? We did it. Let's go. Okay, I suck, but we did get a kill. This is gonna be a, a smooth three kill hour. Assuming everything goes right from this point forward. I will take my four mil. Okay, that was way better. Okay, two in a row. We're good. We're back in the W column. Now, this would have been a six kill hour, and instead it was a three kill hour, so I think we have to go back, but... Look, we finished strong. I'll take it. Three mil. Oh, that's brutal. I wish I had a reroll for that. That's okay. Let's go again. Did I win? Let's see it. Ah, oh, 5.3 mil. Yeah, that's actually unreal. Yeah, I find without the Amulet of Souls, like, I just can't gain HP. Like, I I really have a tough time, because I know as soon as I have an Amulet of Souls, even on P7, right? Like, with the cycles, after the melee hit, you gain so much back from Soul Split. That's, uh, that's what we're doing Zami for. Oh, great. We got the good luck wounds. <laughs> Perfect. This is gonna be like a 12k bomb, I think. Nice. B 
Big bomb means big reflex. It's actually not terrible. Good stuff. That was a good kill time too. Um, like probably 20 seconds slower than my fastest with this setup. And 3.2. I think that's the lowest, uh, the lowest value kill so far, but it's because we didn't get salvage. And that is okay. On to the next one. Yeah, see, the thing about Zuck that I like is we get that drop and it's like we're moving up a wealth class. I think the, the toughest thing about a challenge like this is going to be things get exponentially more and more expensive as we progress. That becomes harder and harder to do. But like, you know, if I get a big drop, right, I can just instantly buy an EOF if I wanted to. Okay, so that's Omni, Wild Magic, and then Shield Camp. Okay, that's perfect. Okay. I think we figured out P7. Yeah, what was going wrong before is I, I was reflecting too early after my Omni Power. Any droppers? Uh, it's looking like no such luck this time around, but I will take the money and let's get some upgrades going. This is really good. All right, let's see the coin pouch jump. We started at like 300k and now we have 24 million coins. Okay. Question is, what is our best upgrade with 24 million coins? It's either better perks or it's a jazz book. Um, with extreme pot, one in three. Okay, that we can do. That's a three mil perk. It is actually impossible to die here. One of the weird things about invention is certain perks are more common the lower your level is. Okay, that is 25 invention, which means it is time to get a very cheap, impatient four. I hate that this is the way to do this, but look, man, if it's saving me a bit of money, worth it. I'm gonna get carpal tunnel. I am, I'm switching hands. This is awful. Help! Speaking of impatient, this is <laughs> making me a little impatient. Click the show no effect. Wait, that's a one in one K. Why is this on the wiki? Why, why is this on the wiki as the best way to get him? That's rarer than Vitalis. What about at level 33? One in 77. This is fine. No, 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 we're fine. We're, we're gonna see this through. Chat, it's becoming more common as my level gets higher. But I do need to keep it low because if I go too high, what will happen is I'm gonna get devoted for. Yes! That was like the worst experience of my life, but we've done it. Oh, what a colossal waste of time. That took 20 minutes. Okay. So this is somewhat expensive. This costs about a mil per attempt. So it's a little pricey, but it's fairly common. It's like a one in three to get it. Okay, so we're gonna have to restart that unfortunately, which means I gotta buy more vintage components. Life is hard, all right, again. So this is our third attempt. This would be a bad one to go dry on. Oh no, please. Oh, come on. Come on. Thank you. Okay, we're good. That was way more expensive than it should have been, but well worth it in my opinion. Okay, so now I've got Impatient 4 and C4R3. Great. So now we can get rid of our terrible perks. Crystal Shield 4. You are no more. Perking when you don't have any GP is so stressful. It is genuinely terrifying. Jazzbook. I think it's worth it. Uh, 17 mil. So now I'm broke again, but this should be really, really good. It should be a, a pretty big upgrade. Unlock your item, making it untradeable. Yes, unlock the book. Okay, I think that's a good upgrade. Our next two upgrades are gonna be Rune Pouch and Amulet of Souls. Okay, we'll leave it done. What do you got for your boss? First off, a lamp that I can't use because I'm 200 mil alt of those stats, perfect. And then, Small sack the first, not bad. Small sack the second, not bad. And big sack, what do you got for your boss? <laughs> awesome! The King Black Dragon title. <laughs> exactly what I wanted. We just completed a hard wieldy event and got zero salvage. So I would like to confirm that this was not anywhere close to worth our time. Wait, we got a Jasper perk too. Wait, this is gonna be so juiced. Okay, ready? Bang, bang. <laughs> a 
Okay, wait, that Jaswick proc was nuts. That was huge. I think the Jaswick hit a 12k there. I'm pretty sure. Pretty good. Four mil is also in the uh, in the realm of can't complain. Send a little early there, but now it's stick and then fork. So I'm gonna thresh the stick. And then I'm gonna thresh the fork. And then I'm gonna use devotion. Shatter. Debilitate Vitpot Disruption Shield. Then when my HP is lowered, I'm gonna use Wild Magic on Omni Power and the boss dies. Alrighty, we actually have time for one more kill. This is gonna be a seven kill hour. Um, 4.6 mil, I'll take it and let's get our last kill in. All right, four and a half mil, beautiful. I think we have enough money for all the powders we're gonna need for Zuck. I do need to buy a shipment of water runes though, for sure. So let's do that first. Let's buy one, two, three, four, five K water runes. That's gotta be enough for a Zuckran. Has to be. So I now have 26 million coins to my name. If we're gonna do hard mode Zuck, I need two things. I need two powder of penance. And I need two powder of protection as well. Can I buy a rune pouch? Wait, they're being merged? Are they really? You know they're being merged because you're currently merging them. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> Let's just go through all the colors. I think this is the play. Done. All right. <laughs> 21 mil. Wait, that's so sick. We saved ourselves like 10 mil by buying a purple one. <laughs> what a huge day. Oh, that's unreal. Let's go repair our tackles though. That does not work on Zach himself. Let's get our game sounds on and let's send it. Oh boy. Oh, this is going to be stressful. It's going to be fun, though. Oh, dude, I'm going to have to be so perfect with a lot of these spawns. <sighs> All right, let's go. The ideal positioning for Zach is you always want to only be fighting one combat style at a time. So the idea is if you if you can get the right lure spots, you should never be off prey. But yeah, challenge wave one is coming in a second here. All right, challenge one done. I think I need to, oh, shoot, what do I even do here? Dedo Tsunami, Omni Power, Wild Magic is fix. No shot, we got it. Okay, that's sick. That's really good. Okay, awesome. So here I want to tag that mage and then I'm going to go this way. Beautiful, actually, that was great. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Oh, that's a jet. Hey. Whoa, careful. Don't mess this up. You've come so far. The believers deserve one, you know? Am I safe? Yeah, I am. Oh, my goodness. Look at where the fire is. Okay, we're fine. And then the idea here is just use stuns. And then I can Devo. And then as long as I am wrecking room here, as long as I get an extended Devo, I should be okay. And double extend. Beautiful. And then Omni, we got it. Okay, th that's the hardest wave of the whole base part. Awesome. Um, okay, so I don't want to shake that guy loose. So I think if I stand this way and I go like that, that guy is going to be free. Perfect. We'll just do him one at a time. Cool. Wait, I did it too fast. I don't have a Dren. Disrupt the first one. Get the Cade. Okay, I'm glad I brought Disrupt Runes. That was so close. My a pot was still on cooldown. It had 10 seconds on it. We're good. Okay, I have to kill this tentacle. The 
Warning. The streamer is not overloaded. Oh, thank you. I repeat. That's actually very clutch. Overloaded. Appreciate it. Look at all the things popping up. Everything all happened at once there. That's crazy. Move. Move again. Wait, I'm close? Please? Get it? Oh, we got it. Okay, nice. Two cycle. Not bad, actually. Genuinely not bad. Uh, let's get a 10th shard. That's natty. Two is not bad. Also, Smitty just got a... Uh, a full book. That's kind of cool. Y'all ready for the huge shatter? Ready? Bang! Big 30k? If you're wondering, I'm not using Omni. I'm saving it for this part. This is the only way the kill actually fails, is if Pizza Time kills you, so... It's not really worth, um... Yeah. Oh, it's not at all worth risking it. We go slow, we go low, and we kill the boss. I think I would like for this to be the last cycle. Oh, look at the Jasper proc! Means I need to Omni. That was a 12k! Dude, we love the Jazz book. That's actually clutch. Chatter? Only 17k in a sunshine? Oh wait, but that was in the Jazz book though. So the Jazz book's getting like a bus. 12k again. Alright. We have now phased it. This part is gonna take so long with the setup. This part is gonna take seven years. I'm so sorry in advance. Welcome to the running in a circle simulator. I still think the most underwhelming end to a boss fight in existence. Don't run out of energy. We brought a stamina potion. Because I expected this would, would probably happen. 41 minutes later. And in 13 hours of gameplay total, starting from nothing. Oh, wait. It still has 40k. A little early. Just pretend like it says 20k, right? But this is a no food hard mode Zuck run. If we can do the math and this is viable GP per hour, I would totally do more of these. It's so enjoyable to do. All right. What do you got for me, Zuck? Do we win? Impossible. You hate to see it. Uh, no such luck, but that's okay. That still was really, really cool. I mean, I made five mil. <laughs> Could do worse. <laughs> I got another reroll too. We talked about this earlier. I need a unique from something to vault me into the next kind of wealth class. Because right now, my next upgrades are all 50 to 60 mil. Because I've got my reroll, I think we try a higher enraged Zami kill with our reroll. That's what I want to do. We could try a 500% two cycle. I mean, my death cost is cheap. You know what? Let's try 500. Whatever. This is. This is, this is not going to go super well, but let's try it. Now, am I able to out DPS the heal at all? I think I am, actually. Yeah. Yeah, even at 500, we're okay. You know what? I have enough sunshine left. I'm just going to send this, I think. Rack and Ruin. I will tear you asunder. Feel the rage of a god. And we're gonna phase it in zero autos. This is perfect. He's actually got and done it. My aura is up too, so I'm actually gonna wait for Infernus here. Yeah. Step into the dark. Perfect. I'm out of refreshes because I haven't lobbied since reset. Mm. I mean, it's definitely Aegis. <laughs> All right. Well, th this is going to be really, really scuffed, but uh, I think we got it. One minute on my Hellhound. Um, 
That's okay. That'll last through the big bomb, I think. Oh, good. The perfect edict order. Okay. I don't know if 78k is low enough. I think it is, though. Yeah, I think we're good. B, and then what's next? B, and then back. Okay. That rune last kind of sucks, but I think we're okay here, actually. Yeah. I think it's going to be really close. 78k. Wish me luck. Okay, please green. Please green. Please green. Okay, we've got to reroll. We've got to reroll. We've got to reroll. We've got to reroll. <sighs> My heart is pounding right now. The Ganodermic Gamer strikes again. Okay, please. Jagex. No inspirational speech required, but like, look, man. <laughs> Come on. This. This would be pretty big for us, all right? This would be relatively large for us. In three. In two. In one. <laughs> Guys, I've been hacked! You're not even gonna help me rebuild after I hacked myself? I bought 3,000 rune coins! I did all that for negative 2 mil! <laughs> After 13 hours and 24 minutes of the rebuild, we've made an absolute ton of progress, and that's gonna be the end of the first part. I've also been sat here editing for three days, and this video is over an hour long, so hopefully you guys aren't content starved anymore. After progressing through our first Zamorak kills, normal mode Zuck, hard mode Zuck, and then eventually a 500% enraged Zamorak kill, I wanna keep pushing. The plan for the next video is gonna be to set my sights on both hard mode Karapak and solo Solak. I've got my sights set on an Amulet of Souls, Cinderbane Gloves, and then if we're lucky, I'd like to get myself an Essence of Finality Amulet too. With that said, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Thank you all so much for watching as always, and I will see you very soon for the next one.